do you want to talk a little bit about um, actually having Emil's music so early on too? Because Isaac got to listen to Emil's music while going to set and then um, he had told us how inspiring that was mm -hmm. uh, to listen to that. Um, and I don't think Emil had ever worked on a project where he was brought on so early. Either. Yeah. He actually, like, I met Emil because he scored Last Black Man in San Francisco as well. And I don't know if you've heard the score, but it's it's so gorgeous. It's one of my favorite scores in recent memory. And uh, unfortunately, I did, I sort of left that picture after Picture Lock. And so I didn't get a chance to work with him as much during the mix. But uh, just getting a chance to listen to his music again on this film was incredible. Um, I remember uh, because Emil was brought on so early, he actually scored three um, uh, samples or he called mini suites of music. Uh, one was titled uh, Tall Grass, the other was titled um, Tractor, and I think the third was titled Fire. And um, you know, maybe a little bit of an indication of where they probably, where he was hoping they would go in the cut. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it was, it was amazing to listen to those things. Cause it was like, it was like hearing another artist's reaction to the script and what the characters were going through. And I think, um, the big takeaway that I had in listening to that early music, particularly Tractor was how the land and um, the farm have taken on a kind of mythical uh, significance for um, uh, Jacob and maybe even the family. And uh, putting that together with some of the um, uh, montage images um, of, the, of Jacob on the tractor and of like the kids kind of exploring the land around them, it, um, it really evoked this kind of like myth-making that uh, you find in like Terrence Malick films of like, this is the American landscape and there's something sort of um, surreal and beautiful about seeing Asian faces in that context of something that felt so essentially American and felt so mythically American. And, you know, I think that cued both um, Isaac and Lachlan, our amazing DP, to do things like shoot a lot of that stuff high speed. And then, you know, for us to for me to choose a lot of the more kind of like mysterious images, you know, where you don't necessarily see faces and things like that, um, to kind of give the audience that sense of what this farm means to them and to tie them not just to the Yi family story, but to sort of the larger kind of American mythology of farming and of the West and things like that. And um, yeah, I think it was really Emile's music that cued us that, that it wasn't that the farm wasn't just the farm. It was like, you know, this beautiful metaphor that we needed to really embrace. Uh, and to have that uh, be uh, something that carried through um, uh, in terms of uh, how we edited the film and how we looked at the film.